The orange bastard has made it very clear that if he loses, it's because of fraud. If he loses, he will challenge the result. And eventually, it will go to the Supreme Court, the challenge. And here we are, December 12th, 2000, all over again, where the actual winner Joe Biden is denied and the American people are denied the person they want to lead us out of this hell hole that Trump has put us in. And then what do we do? Then what do we do? I know goddamn good and well what I will be doing. And keeping in mind, must I... Well, for my own edification, let me rehash this. This is how the Times puts it. It was the court, the Supreme Court, that rendered the final decision in the Florida recount of 2000, effectively delivering the state of Florida to George W. Bush over Al Gore by just 537 votes and with it the presidency. In rushing to name a successor to Justice Ginsburg upon her death last month, Trump indicated that he believed the Supreme Court might again determine the winner, saying, quote, I think this will end up in the Supreme Court, and I think it's very important that we have nine justices, end quote. And then he suggested, the orange bastard did, that he expected the court to weigh in on his uh, on, on his charges of election fraud. And he tweeted this, quote, the scam will be before the United States Supreme Court. And I think having a 4-4 situation is not a good situation. Right in front of our eyes, this is the part that is just staggering to me. And those 537 votes that Gore, quote, lost, end quote, by... Those 537 votes in, in, in the George W. Bush column disappeared when news organizations did an actual count as to who won the state of Florida, and it was Al Gore. Yeah, uh, you know, I... I keep asking the question, uh, for three years I've been asking, why do we allow this continue to continue? And then I switched it to, um, why are we not removing this man from office? And, and now I, I guess the only thing I can say is, why are we allowing this election to be placed in such jeopardy by a neo-fascist cabal of people who hate the Constitution, who want to establish their fascist theocracy, and will stop at nothing to do so. While in the meantime, people like you and people like me, who just want the system to be fair and honest and not filled with lies and Donald Trump garbage and bullshit, well, people like you and me just sit back and watch it happen? Just sit back and watch it happen? And, and especially this year, when voting by mail is expected, and it's also known that Democrats are going to vote in greater numbers than Republicans. They're going to, hence, dismantle the post office and support and, and, and appoint a Supreme Court justice who will say tough shit. Your ballot, your mail-in ballot doesn't come in by election day. Too bad, sucker. 
Republicans vote in person in greater numbers than Democrats will for a number of reasons. I'm not going to enumerate them here. So Trump and Kavanaugh and the rest of these bastards know exactly what they're doing. And I wonder if this was not Jared Kushner's idea, that little prick, that ghoul. I've never seen a paler, pastier-looking, doughboy-looking person of non-color than Jared Kushner. Oh, God, he gives me the willies. But all of this is going, here's what's going to happen. Uh, You know, don't make predictions about an election, Malloy. I know that. But I'm going to make one anyway. Here's what's going to happen. The initial results might appear, might appear to favor the orange bastard, only then to move in the direction of Joe Biden as the counts of mailed in ballots are made public. So you see what scenario that the orange son of a bitch and the drunk Supreme Court justice and the other four useless bastards on the Supreme Court who participated in this ruling against the voters in Wisconsin, you can see what the master plan is. Now, I started this tirade by saying, if you want to believe this is just some off-the-wall conspiracy theory, something akin to uh, what the cucumbers would put together, uh, go ahead. But the facts here speak for themselves. The fact is that Trump dismantled the Postal Service. The fact is that Kavanaugh was appointed by Trump. The fact is Kavanaugh ruled, along with the other four Nazis on the Supreme Court, on Monday. If your vote's not in Election Day, you're screwed. And then, in his his arrogance, Kavanaugh's arrogance, he had to to add, he had to write a piece that was attached to the Supreme Court decision. In his own personal opinion of the decision. Well, it might flip the election. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So as to be expected, civil rights groups and Democrats and people who still cling to the idea that this country could be, with the right leadership and the right right cooperation, it could be a form of government that the rest of the world would envy, which we are not now. But but for the civil rights groups, the human rights groups, the, the Democrats, the liberals, the progressives who've been pressing for the suspension of certain rules regarding mail-in ballots in order to make sure that everything is counted. (sighs) Are now concerned that it's over. That's my concern, that this is it. After all the warnings, going back to the 1930s, after all the warnings, well, it couldn't happen here. It's happening here. I, I, believe it or not, I, I just lose my ability to say anything more about it. I, I, I mean, what is to be said? You fight fire with fire. And when an attempt is being made in front of us, right out in the open, this is not like a Bay of Pigs invasion reversed with a a bunch of mercenaries uh, creeping up on the beaches in in Texas and Florida and Louisiana and Alabama, ready to overthrow the U.S. government. That's not what this is. This is an overthrow of our system from within which probably is, is what the framers had in mind when they, when, when they mentioned uh, in the oath, if they're the ones that put together the oath, I don't even know, to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States from enemies foreign and domestic. Domestic enemies against self-governance, against representative government? They're here. 
They're running the country. They're running the Christian church, both Protestant and Catholic. They're here. And our enemies foreign, most notably Vladimir Putin. I, I, I can just imagine the joy, the excitement, the celebration going on in the bowels of the Kremlin as they watch what's happening here. Civil rights groups and liberals and progressives and Democrats and people who, against all reason, after what we've witnessed for four years, are clinging to the idea that this country can maintain, our system of self-governance can maintain and improve. What are, what are we to think? We're witnessing it. It's right in front of us. Democrats have openly worried that Mr. Trump's attacks would create the false impression that fraud is a serious threat to the integrity of the election and use that as a basis for a challenge to the mail-in vote. To Democrats, Justice Kavanaugh's opinion appeared to reward the approach, treating voters' perceptions of fraud, which Trump is trying so hard to influence, as potentially pivotal. So what it simply means is that Kavanaugh is buying into this with a Supreme Court ruling now. I think the hope is on the part of these son of a bitches is to just provide a slight impetus, impetus of influence to maybe the, if there are any left, undecided voters, people who know Trump is a gangster and a filthy pig, but they're just not sure about Joe Biden. Well, but Maud, the Supreme Court said there could be fraud. We better go with Mr. Trump. And then the Times adds this. The president's success in placing his nominees throughout the federal judiciary has led to a rightward shift in the ideological balance of several important federal appellate circuits as well as cemented the conservative majority on the Supreme Court. And I don't want to use the word conservative. These bastards are not conservatives. These are fascists. These are dictatorial fascists. These are religious nutcases. These are people who hate anything that smacks of individual freedom, individual responsibility, joy, fun, laughter, a sense of well-being. These are people who want the entire population of this country and possibly the world to live in constant fear of a demonic God who is going to beat the shit out of them at the least transgression. And the only way to avoid that violent, vicious God is to blindly accept their religious and political doctrine. To do otherwise, and your ass will be crushed. Does this not come through? I mean, you do understand this, don't you, truth seekers? There's so many things that need to be dealt with, so many issues that require rational thought, science based thought progressive in, in, in the expansive definition of that word, a small p if you want, progressive thoughts and ideas moving the human species to a point where it can survive the, the, the depredations that we've laid on our home. And fascism is not the vehicle for that to be accomplished. It cannot be. But here we are. Here we are. So what are we going to do? Well, I will make just an open plea to my militant black brothers and sisters. Would you please reserve a place in the ranks for me? 
Yeah, I'm older than most of you, but I don't have any physical ailments I'm aware of, and I goddamn sure know how to lock and load. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.